is going down in here, this is where you need to be. We're gonna do a TLC inspired creative routine. That's before their time. We gotta make sure that we're strong going up against the infamous dancerettes. The infamous dancerettes have a lot of secret weapons. So dance and dolls, get ready, because we're going to beat you. This week, I am trying to cut the Battle Royale soloist down from six to three. It should be camp. First, Mimi pastors me in the war room. Then Dana meets me at my car. And now Brittany is texting me. I can't take it anymore. You forgot about the rules of the dollhouse. Get your and get out. Welcome to Battle Ready. I'm like, wait a minute. It's not infamous dancerettes. Are we combining teams now, John? Here we go, Battle Royale's coming up, and we finally have cuts for six to three. Gee, are you ready? That's gonna be pretty hard. This year's Battle Royale is gonna have two categories, the solo and stand battle. I have no idea how Battle Royale solo cuts are gonna go. I don't know if Miss Diana's gonna do it by herself. I don't know if Kayla and Miss Diana. So I'm extremely nervous. It's me, Michaela, Christiana. Makai, here's your name. And Faith. You know, with the Battle Royale, Diana's gonna put the best dancer of the best of the best girls on the dance team. So, and that would be you. You're the captain. With you being the captain, I don't even think you should have to audition. None of the other captains had to go through all that. Everyone knows that Cameron is the captain. I just feel like if she's the captain, she's good enough to represent the dancing dolls as the soloist in the Battle Royale. You know what? I think I just have a little talk with Diana. Just to make sure, you know, that we're on the same page no, as far as this. No, no, no. Please do not talk to Coach T. Kayla, get in here. Yes, ma'am. What did you think about last week's competition? I feel like they did good last week. The hip hop creative that Kayla and I collaborated together on, it was amazing. It brought forth that dancing doll swag. It had a lot of energy, and the judges, they seemed to love it. And we won the creative dance after two losses, and that definitely felt good. Mm, I think this week is going to be a little different, though. Hello, my intro. Oh, hey, Kayla. Hey. Hey. I'm just thinking to myself, you know, it doesn't really hurt to give it a try. Diana sometimes needs to hear from the parents in a nice, sensible way. First of all, I come in peace. I wanted to talk about this Battle Royale so well. I'm just wondering, do you, do you have a clue of who you want to use or who you're going to get? Because I honestly feel like it should be Cameron, simply because Cameron is the captain, all right? I know she's the cat. Okay. I'm making a decision based off of the who has the best dance. I, I mean, didn't say I just that. feel like that would that would it's like a slap in her face. Mimi says that it's a slap in Cameron's face, but it doesn't matter. Everybody should get a chance. I'm not gonna give it to Cameron just because she's captain. No. Man. You coming in here talking to me ain't gonna change. Uh, Bye, Mimi. I'm just asking. Bye, Mimi. I'm gonna go. But just keep that in your head. Bye, Mimi. Bye, Bye, bye. All right. All right. Let's get started. All right, this week you guys are going to the Battle Ready competition, bless you, in Columbus, Mississippi. This week's categories are creative dance and stand battle, of course. Between this week's competition and doing these cuts for Battle Royale solo, this is definitely going to be a really big and crazy week. This weekend is an open creative, which gives me the opportunity to pick and choose whatever it is that I want. For this week's creative, I decided to kind of take it back to a music group that I followed as a child back to the 90s. We're gonna do a TLC-inspired creative routine. The girl group TLC has three members, and each one of the members have their own personality. T-Boss is always known for that bob haircut. She has a fierce body. She always seemed to be the laid-back, fun one of the bunch. And then there's Left Eye. And Left Eye was one that she did what she wanted to do. I'm like, rock on. How many of y'all know TLC? T-Boss, Left Eye, and Chili. I think my mom likes TLC, but she only likes the oldies. Bringing to life TLC and bringing forth their music and doing it the DD4L way. 
I think it's gonna be really, really interesting to see how the judges are gonna respond. It's the creative is about TLC this week. It's probably TLC inspired. Diana announces that the creative is going to be a TLC theme, and I'm thinking, yes, this is a chance for Faith to let everyone know that she is well-rounded and she can do it. So this is going to be so fun this week. Hot damn, TLC. It's going to be wardrobe, oh, personality, and they're going yes, to the and, and they gonna have to do the music right. Yeah. The fact that we have TLC-inspired routine this week, I'm like, yes, 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 ma'am. I can do this. I can relate. I know what I'm talking about. The problem is, the girls do not know anything about TLC. That's before they, their time. Yeah, we know TLC before. Is they don't know. Yeah. We're well, they gonna have to do some research. So, we only have three competitions before Battle Royale. That's it. Solo cuts tomorrow will go from six to three. The person that gets a solo, your routine counts for 50% of our score. Now, the Battle Royale competition for the last two years the dancing dolls haven't won. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on that one girl to kill the solo, and it's gonna also put a lot of pressure on me to make sure that I pick the right person. So if your routine is not good, there's a chance that we may not win Battle Royale because of you. I don't even see why they gotta do Battle Royale, cuz she might well gonna give it to Cameron. Cameron is the cat, don't y'all agree? It sucks that I don't have Star Sky in the running for the solo for the Battle Royale, but you know what? I can breathe. I don't have to deal with all of that pressure because I know it's a lot. Whoever Diana's gonna choose, it's gonna be crazy. Why would you give it to anybody? But Diana would be And if the you're room. not the captain, it's the next hey, captain. co-captain. In line. I can name several reasons why Christiana should get this solo. Christiana's a powerhouse dancer. Christiana has did a solo and brought home a trophy. So why not use what you know gonna bring you a first place win, especially when it carries 50% of your score? But what you're missing is there's a new girl that is just as powerful as y'all captains. She no. knows how to do all genres of dance. No, 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 she has no, no, a personality. No, 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 she has shown okay, week after week okay, she's hold on, getting hold on, better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The old moms, they're saying fate doesn't deserve to be out there. And I'm saying to myself, womp, 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 womp. You know, it doesn't phase me anymore. I know the work that Faith has put in. I mean, she has the personality, she has the dance ability, she has the training, and she works hard. I believe my baby is gonna prove him wrong. Shouldn't be even no need for her to that have a potential be a and a new question girl. because I have asked myself the exact same thing. This week's competitors are Royal Envy, Exquisite Starlets, and Infamous Dancerettes. The infamous Dancerettes are probably the Dancing Dolls' biggest rivals. The infamous Dancerettes are not only a great hip-hop team, but they pose a threat because their team is always extremely clean, they're very together, they have a lot of personality and a lot of attitude. We gotta make sure that we're strong going up against them and stay in battle. Y'all ready to win? Yes! Y'all ready to beat the dogs? The last time the infamous Dancerettes saw the Dancing Dolls, we beat them in trio. But I guarantee you, this time, I focus on stands, and you're going to lose stands. Diana's not going to be expecting this part. Seven, eight. I have a lot of secret weapons. I got something very, very different. So, Dancing Dolls, get ready, because we're going to beat you. One, two, three. Ah, yeah. One and two, three and four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You had so many different people back in the day that was so influential, but TLC is one that just stuck with me. They were sharing real things in their music, and I could relate to it as a kid. Chest and drop, pull and pull. I know the girls are just learning the choreography, but I still have to pick a trio. So, now that we know what we're doing, we have a TLC-inspired creative routine. I thought about this before coming to practice, so I knew exactly who I wanted to go out for, the positions of T-Boss, Left Eye, and Chili. For me, representation of t Boss, Left Eye, and Chili, and this inspired routine is important. It's important to get it right. Deja, you're up. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna do t Boss, Left Eye, then Chili. <laughs> Chose Faith, Denisha, and Deja to go out for the role of T-Boss. Each one of them has kind of a tomboyish, yet feminine, and really, really personable attitude. Plus, they have a lot of great animated faces, and I think they would be great to go out for the role for T-Boss. For Left Eye, there's Michaela and Kenjanae. 
Both have a kooky personality. They're very fun, they're very energetic, and they're very unique. I chose Cameron and Christiana to both go out for the role of Chili because they're both very pretty girls to me. They are very animated, they have a lot of personality, and they're really kind of laid back. I'm entertained, I'm excited, but at the end of the day, there can only be three. Okay, so I'm not looking just for a dance ability. I'm looking for a personality. I'm looking for an entertainer because the persons that play TLC will be out front. I'm not looking just for a dance ability. I'm looking for a personality. I'm looking for an entertainer because the persons that play TLC will be out front. I'm working on my TLC creative. I have to make sure the three girls that I put out front, they're gonna be able to nail this routine and also nail the dance steps. They're gonna have to make this work and pull it off. Um, Denisha. We felt like when you came up, you owned the floor. So the person for T-Boz is gonna be Denisha. <laughs> Denisha has only been on the team for eight months. She's not on the battle squad, but she's definitely been in almost every single creative dance that the dancing dolls have ever done. There's something that I see in her for some reason that's making her stand out. Um, Ken Janae. You always got on your daddy's socks, one too big, one too small. <laughs> you always doing something that's kooky. That's, that's left eye all day long. So left eye's gonna be Kendra Knight. <laughs> okay, so for Chili. Camera. I was so excited to get the part of Chili. You know, I know my mom really enjoys them and I think it's gonna be really fun. Now I just have to figure out who Chili is. With you, Denisha. Not only do you have to remember the choreography and perform, you're also out front. My name is Denisha and I've been on the Dancing Dolls for a year. And I've danced in a lot of creative routines, but I've never been up front before. So if you make a mistake, it's not gonna look good and it's gonna be a direct reflection upon the entire team. Let's do it right way. Forget the haircut. Let's talk about who right for the part. And that part is not for that girl. Denisha, look at her. I'm a little salty about Diana's choice for the creative dance this week. To me personally, I think Christiana, Cameron, and Faith would have did good as the TLC group because our three girls have worked really hard this season. They have been put up to test and they still stand it. We don't have that type of time. She gotta get this right now. And she can't kill just one part. She got to do all of it. All of it. A new girl. Don't know how to handle this intense pressure that's coming at her. And I'm already like, okay, what in the hell is gonna happen? All right, so Battle Squad, I need you to the mirror. Everybody else are dismissed. Fight tomorrow's at six. This week, I'm gonna add some complicated new stands to the stand battle, utilizing the veterans and some of the new girls. I think that it's good to constantly refresh and change things up so the judges won't know what we're gonna do. Plus, I'm trying to get the girls ready for Battle Royale. One. Two, stop. Again, use your hands. Turn your head so we can make sure that it's right. Yep, start over. The stand battle squad are having issues with new choreography. The girls have major competitors this week, so the girls are gonna have to get it together. It's a lot of timing issues, and it shouldn't be. Kids, now you didn't roll, you fell out of your back bend. As we get ready to hit Battle Royale, every week you're gonna get new stuff to give a fresh look to the choreography. I promise I'm gonna cut y'all down. I have no problem doing it, none. Everybody got it? All right, goodbye. Hey, Coach D. I know you just got out of practice, but I just want to talk to you and let you know Faith is ready for the Battle Royale cuts tomorrow. Brittany and Mimi seem to think that you don't overlook the new girls, but I just want you to give her a fair chance. I'm so tired of y'all. I'm tired. Y'all had a real long day, and you stopping me at my car like a stalker. I don't know what the mom's problems are, but first, Mimi, earlier, and now Dana as I'm trying to leave the premises. I don't know why they feel like when they come talk to me that they can try to say something to sway me. I'm gonna see her dance. If she gonna get it, she gonna get it. Get in your well, car. Good night. Good night. Yeah, get in your car. Okay, ready y'all? When y'all stick y'all foot out, grab, grab hands. 
Grab hands, yeah, and then pull each other, pull. With this creative, I am utilizing my TLC inspired dancers to be the three that are gonna be out front. Five, six, row, seven, row, eight. That's all three of y'all together. Everyone else is gonna be kind of like their backup dancers. First eight, count one. Look, three and four. Stop. Some of the girls are picking up the choreography and some of them aren't. And don't bend down like this. That's not what it is. It's right here. Nadisha, come in. I feel like I have to keep stopping to babysit them and constantly starting over, and I can't do that. Stop. I just see it. Don't do this. It's this. We have to move forward or we're not going to finish the routine. Five, six, seven, up. Oh, that's not the end of it. We're just going to stop there. Denisha, this whole station, this is all you in the front. So if you make a mistake, it's not going to look good, and it's going to be a direct reflection upon the entire team. This is Denisha's first featured role, and she's having some complications, serious complications, and I think that Denisha's psyching herself out. Denisha, slow down! Denisha has always been an active member of the New Girl line. She's great, she's a good dancer, but I think sometimes when the pressure is on, sometimes dancers can fold. Denisha, it's not this, it's this. You messing up, you making too many mistakes right here. For you to have this part, you making too many mistakes. Way too many. Learning all of this choreography so fast is really hard, and I really want to show her that I can be a great featured dancer, and I really don't want to mess this up. We got to the last two sections of the dance. You have an issue with this. Do you understand? You need to get this. First, Mimi pastors me in the war room. Then Dana meets me at my car, and now Brittany is texting me. As I read the text message, it goes on to say how perfect Christiana would be for the Battle Royale solo. Okay, I'll be back. There's no way in hell Brittany should be texting me, number one. She knows that I'm in practice. Hell, she can see. They're in the viewing room. She knows that I'm busy. It's like strike one, strike two, strike three. You're out. I can't take it anymore. Hey, man, I don't know what the problem is. Seriously? But all of this breaking of the rules, it's got to stop. Even though the moms have their own room, they're still bothering me, and I think that they've gotten a little too comfortable, and they need a little bit of a reminder of what this cold winter area in Mississippi actually feels like. I'm so sick of hearing about Ooh. the damn Battle Royale. So, since y'all can't follow the rules, get your and get out. Out, out, out! It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It's cold. I know! This time, it wasn't me. My hands are clean. Diana, can I please stay in the viewing room? Because I'm sure it's cold outside. So as How you get put out you for doing here. you we got I'm already kicked out of the dollhouse. This is crazy. I know that in the old days, the moms were standing outside and looking through the window. I didn't sign up for this. Walk your ass home! One and two. Three and four. Stop. It's here, here, switch. What is it? The girls are having so many problems with new choreography, but this is what I want. I want to make sure that they have at least two or three new stands every single week, and I know that it's daunting to ask for, but it's something that they can do. Christiana, do you have that part? Next eight count. Look, whip, here, hit, hit. You Okay, yeah, I was out here with you. Guess what? You I was ain't, out here you with ain't sacrificed on the sidewalk with the twins. So is this? So you the practice continues, and I know the moms are pissed because they're outside, and I don't give them. They need to learn to shut the hell up. They're always talking, 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 so this is your punishment. Deal with Mr. Frost, because I know it's freezing outside. Hell, y'all miss all them women to bring your black ass down there. That's what Where you supposed to go? <laughs> you get in your car? I got dropped off. The parents are such a disruption this week. If we end up not being prepared for the competition, I'm going to blame them because I keep constantly having to stop what I'm doing to go down there and see what they asses are doing. It's like the freaking daycare. She the one got us put out. You heard Diana when she came out. She was talking about Brittany. She's to blame. Everybody, so it's time for us to do cuts for Battle Royale solos. It's been a crazy week already at the dollhouse, but we still have Battle Royale coming up, and our solo counts for 50% of the score. Now, these girls, they've been working their asses off, but it's time for me to cut them down from six to three. So now we want to see what you guys are bringing to the table. 
All of my soloists line up together in the back. I am so glad we're finally getting Battle Royale cuts. I just want it to be over so yeah. I can find Gross. something else to talk all with y'all bitches about. This is the most important audition of the season, and Diana has us out here looking at through these godforsaken, fingerprinted-ass windows. I just tell you the truth. I can't stand when Diana does stuff like this. Makaya, you'll be going first. These six girls are all over the place with their talents. These six girls are all over the place with their level of ability and difficulty. The soloist, no matter who it is, it's going to be amazing. Ready? Makaya is super strong. Her tumbling is amazing. Her power is there. She's like, she hits the button. It's like, zoom, she just takes off. Watching Christiana, I think I need to come up with a new name because I think we have outrode the silent killer. I think she needs to be the deadly assassin because Christiana ain't playing no games on this floor. Kendra Day is phenomenal at hip hop and she is dancing like I've never seen her dance before. All right, Faith. Oh! Y'all know I'm getting excited whenever she get ready to perform. Okay. You better hush now, because she's going to perform. OK. Faith has been working so hard. I mean, night and day. I'm so excited and nervous for her right now. Just watch me, watch me go. For my solo routine, I was just trying to show Miss Diana that I could do ballet, modern jazz, hip hop, majorette, you name it. Watch me go. I'm Michaela is all personality all day long, and she's killing it today. Tonight they won't shut us down. Nope, we gotta get loose on this town. Nope. It's not a whisper of a tear or a frown. Nope, oh, this is where the party's at. No one can deny that. I want this solo spot because it is a really big opportunity. You're doing a solo at Battle Royale in front of, you know, maybe celebrity judges, so you could get picked up one day. And it's like, no, you're gonna be known for being the best. I'm watching, and Cameron is killing it out there. We may be OK, Cam and Cam. We might be OK. It's time for me to have the biggest cut that I could possibly do. I have to make sure that I put the best girls on the floor. So the three people that we chose are... The three people that we chose are... It's time for the Battle Royale solo cuts. Now we're about to go from six to three. Uh, Christiana. <laughs> Micaiah. And... Cameron. Pressure, but you got it. Even though is in the top three, it's not the end of the journey. It's like a mixed blessing because now the pressure is really on because it has to go from three to one. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. okay. Cameron got to go against some stunners. Cameron got to go. Against... I mean, I was really disappointed because I know all season she has been doing everything that Coach D asked her and beyond. Diana automatically have her mindset on old girl. No. All that. They go to hate. Go to Why wouldn't you choose her? Why wouldn't you choose her at least in the top three? Y'all get this stuff. We arrive at the Battle Ready competition in Columbus, Mississippi, and the girls are super excited but nervous all at the same time. I need to make sure that they stay completely focused on what they're supposed to do and not get rattled. And what did we do? We came to... Slay! Royal! And We're here to let them know, no longer about the dancing dance, it's about the infamous dance arrest, right? Yes! Yeah. The last time the infamous dance arrest saw the dancing dance, we got second place in the stand out. But we come here today to fix their mistake. Whose house? 
if y'all get up here and perform and dance like we did in practice, y'all did pretty good in practice. Y'all down, y'all better jump and dance for your life if y'all wanna win this week. We did not win in the trio creative against Infamous Dance Arrest the last time we saw them. The creative category is about to start, and I hope our TLC-inspired routine is ready. Denisha has never been out front, and she struggled so much in practice, but I'm hoping she's able to pull it together when it's time for us to hit the floor. All right, let's go do this. Deep, 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 deep. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to do nothing today but see these girls dance. It's been so much about this solo. I just feel like it was so much pressure on everybody. It has been a stressful week inside the dollhouse. On top of having Battle Royale solo cuts, we still had to prepare for this week's competition. After everything these girls have been through this week, I hope it don't get to them today. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who the hell do I run into in the hallway? John. But what's up? Hey, I'm ready for this first category. Last time we battled you guys in stands, I thought you guys did a good job. Thanks, I really, really appreciate that. But the judges thought that ours were better. I thought that our creative dance was great, but the judges thought that you guys were better. But this week, I think things are gonna be a little bit different. More than likely, they'll probably get a chance to take home first place in both categories. Well, it's not about me, it's not about you, it's about our girls, so we're just gonna let it be what it's gonna be, we're gonna leave it on the dance floor. Exactly, leave it on the floor. Carry on. I'm going back to my room. Mm -hmm. You look good, by the way. Thank you, I know. <laughs> ah. All right, heads bowed, eyes closed. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be here today. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to do what it is that we do. We thank you for the talents and the gifts that each and every one of these young ladies possess. Give these kids the biggest smiles and the baddest attitudes to be able to not only make the judges proud, but also make TLC proud of what we're about to get out here and put on this floor. And in your son Jesus' name, we always pray. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Battle Ready. <laughs> Contested and creative dance for the Golden Pantorettes. Yeah. Everybody been working for the weekend. The Golden Pantorettes come out on the floor, and their coach has on these black pants with fringe, and he has a cape on. But the coach literally invades the routine, and he's in the front, and he's gonna get him a piece of that floor. We got the right to body. Don't let it get you down, cause we're coming. I heard the drums, and I said, oh, okay, maybe he has a live band that he's using. And then I see a Millennium Madness fancy trick drill team. Like, wait a minute. It's not Infamous Dancerettes. <laughs> Infamous Dancerettes decided to be creative and add a team to their team. I can't do nothing but shake my head and drop my jaw. Great. That's what I want to see. Diana is talking to the judges. There is no way that this is legal. I don't know what John had up his sleeve today, but to bring another team and hit the floor with him, it was so many dancers, so much going on. All I know that something was not right. We combining teams now? Because that's not even the answer. Go get two different teams. Coach Diana has a concern. Uh, the team presented as infamous dance arrest. We're saying that it was two different teams. Right. And we do know that, but, it, but the only rules. rules but, that we but have. But it's not the rules. Okay. We already talked about it. Okay. Yeah. It's not the rules. We noticed it, but the only rule is that it should be five minutes. Yeah. And no longer than nine. It's the only rule we got for everything. And he was in the back. Yeah. Okay. We already okay. know that. All right. Um, they said the only rule for creative today was five, no, no shorter than five, no longer than nine. Oh, I don't care. I just don't. I'm just. I, my thing is, if we gonna combine teams, I could have brought all the Jackson with me. Is this what we do now to try to try to win competitions? We bring in other teams to combine to try to try to win. It's a, it's a bother for me. But it's not in the rules that says that it can't be done. So I just have to roll with the punches on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in from Jackson, Mississippi, the Dancing Dolls. I'm really excited. 
excited about our TLC creatives. TLC is one of the biggest girl groups from the 90s, and I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to pay homage to this team. at this creative and it's got me going. Honey, Cameron, Denisha, and Kendra Knight, they are crumb. They have high energy. They're giving me chills. <laughs> Faith to get the role of T-Boz, but I can't hate on Denisha right now. She's doing great. And Cameron and Kenjanae, oh my God, they're bringing back so many memories of my favorite group of all time. Watching my girls go through their routine, they look amazing. Denisha, Cameron, and Kenjanae, they all Nailed it. I'm more proud of Denisha than the other two because this is Denisha's first time actually being out front. So for Denisha, it's her first time, but she really rose to the occasion and handled herself like a pro. <laughs> Overall, our girls' performance was great, but John had that damn drum line. And you never, ever know what the judges are going to think. They may think that John's routine was really hot. But now it's time for a stand battle. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, that's a torch indeed. I bet they all come through. Yes, indeed, my friend. I bet they all come through. Got a need for speed. The push drop. Hello, up. Girl, swing them hips. I got a song for you. Girl, do that dance. My eyes all on you. She do that dance and I ain't mad at you. She burning hot. Gonna do what you do. She trouble, trouble. when she gave me for you. I give her in the face. She make me lose the train. Go in. Down, crazy, crazy. Oh, ID, they not going out like no punk today. Of course, ID came for the dancing dolls, because they know the dancing dolls are coming for them. So they like golden separates. We gonna give y'all a little bit, but we ain't gonna give them too much. When the judges announce ID is advancing, I'm super excited because we came to battle ID today. It is now the final round of our semis of the stand battle. The next two teams competing are Royal Envy and the Dancing Dolls. It's time for the stand battle. We've beaten Royal Envy in the past, but you never know with these new teams what they're gonna bring to the table. Let's get it! Let's go! Turn the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Turn up your radio, you can hear it on the block. Oh, 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 oh. It's everywhere you go, blowing up the spot. Yeah, the rhythm is non-stop, blowing up the spot, non-stop. We don't stop, turn up your radio, you can hear it on the block. Oh, 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 oh. In the middle of the stand, Christiana was supposed to be looking straight ahead, but instead she was looking at the other girls. She must have forgot the moves. Hopefully, the judges don't catch it, but if they do, this could be a problem. We don't stop, we don't stop, we don't stop, we don't stop. We don't stop. On the floor, I have never seen Christiana watch and look around as she's dancing. And all I can think is, did the judges see that? Did the judges notice that? Did, 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 what, 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 what the hell's going on? And the team moving on to the finals is. From Jackson, Mississippi. The Dancing Dolls end up winning this round, and we're moving on to the finals to battle the infamous Dancerettes. The Dancing Dolls cannot make the same mistakes they made in this round going up against the infamous Dancerettes. 
Okay, now y'all dance well. You, Christiana, you forgot. You forgot to move up. She was up there by herself. So it made it look like she was wrong in formation. And she wasn't wrong, because she told you back here. That hurt the team. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the finals of our stand battle. We have the infamous dancer Rex. Judges didn't see their little mess up. Now it's time for the match we all been waiting for. Dancing Dolls versus ID. It's time to show John these dolls are not playing. Let's get it! Let's go! This is a battle I've been waiting on. This is a competition that I like to come and participate. When you got me on my feet, want to pull my tracks out my head, because it's going down in here, this is where you need to be. tell you this match is exciting. It's over the top. So the dolls better come correct because I know John have all types of tricks up his sleeve. The energy in the room went from zero to a hundred. The girls danced so hard. dolls are mad. They know John trying to come for them, and Christiana and Cameron them like, oh, we ain't going today, baby. So what if Christiana messed up on that one part of the scene? Hey, things happen. She's human. She can make mistakes. I blame nobody but Diana Wiggins. Do it all through pressure. Show me what you got. You amazing now. Yeah. Do you want to roll or not? Show me what you got. Yeah. Cause you know you're special. Do it all through pressure. Girl, you got a lot. Let's say you break it all down like a sensei. Here goes John with one of his secret weapons. First, he had a drum line come out on the floor with him during Creative, and now he is snatching random people out of the crowd. But that's okay, John. You can bring out Ringling Brothers, Barnum and, and Bailey. It wouldn't even matter because I got something for you. There you go, baby. You can be my girl. Take you on trips all around the world. You make me high. They go on a roll. So now it's Dancing Dolls Go, and this is it. This is the last of the last. The girls are dancing. I'm like, oh, John, guess who? Ding dong. Pressure. Show me what you got. If you amazing not. Oh, do you want to roll or not? Show me what you got. This feels great. We did a really good job, and now we're killing it. And I'm really proud of it. Do it all the pressure. You got a lot. This is what I live for. If anybody want to know why you stick around, why y'all do this every weekend, don't you think it's a little bit time consuming? The feeling in the gym right now answers all those questions for me. So the fact that the Battle Royale is like three weeks away, I can't wait. with this creative because the judges seem to really like ID. You never know which way you can go with these judges. With the judges making their decision in creative, the team coming in second place is... From Memphis, Tennessee, Emphis and Threats. And the team in first place is... But spit it out, Spit it out! Who's the winner? From Jackson, Mississippi. There were so many obstacles and issues. There was so much going on, but we won. Hallelujah. 
Hey, God. In first place in stand battle is. Infamous Dancerettes was good, and Dancing Dolls was great. And both of us had some entertaining factors in our stands. It is so up to the judges right now, I can't think. From Jackson, this week is a wrap. The girls have done a great job. The girls have won the competition. Hallelujah. I can now breathe. I can let out my gas. Y'all played y'all's parts very well. And the team overall, y'all look like y'all was having fun. It didn't look like work. The entire show was great. Adding in all the little extra stuff that we did in the creative made all the difference today. Now, stay in battle in this final round. Good Lord have mercy. At the end of the day, I walk away feeling good about my girls' performance today. I constantly tell them if they dance well, I am proud, and I am so proud of the entire team. Yeah. 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 Yeah.